is discipleship what is discipleship a system of training for reigning a system of reprogramming a system of recalibration into the image and the likeness and then next week we are going to look at the third segment governance so these three segments number one the original plan the fall of man and the restoration process that we call redemption the second is discipleship discipleship is not some some doctrinal curriculum of people no it is the way people are trained to carry out the dominion mandate listen nobody reigns just because you have received jesus remember the scripture that i gave you last week right that they that received two things number one the gift of righteousness number two the abundance of grace so two requirements to reign one you must receive what the gift of righteousness no man can walk it is god's very nature imputed through faith when you believed in the finished work of his son his death the burial the resurrection and the glorification not just the resurrection jesus did not just ascend and is hanging in the sky he is seated it matters because Ephesians starts with the revelation of his seated position so it's not just the death i know great men like kenyon and all of that talk about the death burial resurrection but it's more than that the death the burial the resurrection and the glorification that coronation was what david saw the lord said to my lord the lord the ancient of days said to my lord the christ sit down at my right hand until i make your enemies your footstool hallelujah discipleship why why discipleship let me tell you something because you see when you receive jesus christ everybody listen carefully when you receive jesus christ automatically it gives you access the life of god is in you give us genesis chapter 1 please verse 26 god created man there was a twofold design and this design this configuration must be gotten back for man to be able to walk in dominion number one is what his image the first purpose of discipleship is to carve in you the experience of the image of the christ the spiritual dimension the spiritual composition are we together now paul said this he says my little children in whom i travail until christ be formed in you the formation of christ in reality the indwelling of the word is a reflection of his image because the bible says let us make man in our own image and the bible says christ who is the word is the express image of the godhead he that has seen me has seen the father are we together now Philip said, show us the father. And then he sufficient. He said, Philip, have you been so long with me, Philip? And yet you have not seen the father. Whoever has seen me has seen the father. So Christ came as the image. So man must first be made in Christ. Now listen. Let us make process. Let us make process. The moment that life of God comes, the making is not automatic the life is there the spirit of god is at work in you if it were automatic then you do not need the word and you do not need the, the ministry of the holy spirit the formation of christ now please everybody listen this is one of the indices for spiritual growth the moment believers get born again if you have ever wondered what next let me tell you what next is the spiritual development of those people so that the life the character and the traits of christ will be fashioned in them are we together now the image so pastors apostles prophets evangelists together that fivefold ministry they work harmoniously to help people achieve this are we together the image of christ being formed in you 
that's what you call character that's what you call the fruit of the spirit the fruit of the recreated human spirit when you read galatians chapter 5 verse 16 paul was teaching the galatian church and he said this i say then please give it to us galatians 5 and verse 16 we'll read 16 then we'll go down to 22 he says this i say then walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh so the key is what walking in the spirit you must be trained to walk in the spirit the bible says to set your minds on the things above and not on the things of the earth it takes a training the name of that training is discipleship discipleship is not just an indoctrination into a church's curriculum and beliefs are we together because many of us hate the word and i understand because it has been used religiously by people who are not even born again discipleship is how people are made to reign verse 22 it says but the fruit of the spirit there are all kinds of theological understandings but the fruit of the spirit is love listen joy peace long suffering gentleness goodness faith meekness temperance he said against such there is no law meaning that it is impossible to be a violator with these conditions this is the atmosphere of the spirit the fruit of the spirit combined creates an atmosphere that becomes formidable no power and force of hell can penetrate that all these things you call the fruit of the spirit are and they are ingredients that structure something the bible says that we are built into a spiritual house like living stones one block upon the other you are adding love joy peace patience gentleness let me tell you every attack on a believer's life comes when there is a lapse in one of these are you hearing what i'm saying listen are, are we learning am i am i blessing you every attack on your life will come based on an advantage that was taken as a result of the absence or the deficiency of this from where comet um how does the bible put it quarreling and all this among you you see that when there is no love there will be jealousy when there is no love there will be bitterness when there is no joy the bible says for with joy shall you draw out of the wells of salvation is that true it says the joy of the lord is your strength when your spirit is weak there is no joy joy is not laughter joy can only be given by the spirit unbelievers have happiness only believers can have joy is of the holy ghost joy has nothing to do with circumstances it is a state of being that is based on a revelation and the presence of the holy ghost count it all joy my brethren when you go through die how can you rejoice knowing this knowing this this is the secret of the joy knowing this without knowing it you cannot have joy so when you are going through diverse situations you lost a loved one you lost a job something is not working well ordinarily you should be sad but knowing this there is a revelation that the trying of your faith work at patience and then that let patience have her full course then it will make you mature it will make you unfruitful knowing this hallelujah are we blessed we must build the fruit of the spirit in people you can be educated as educated as anything and lack gentleness goodness meekness and never be promoted correct you went to school but you are not gentle at all the company throws you away because you lack the fruit of the spirit do you know all the the commandments of nigeria are a human attempt to get men to have the fruit of the spirit so when they tell you pay a bill of hundred thousand naira and all of this is their own way of trying to force you to feel the pain of stealing somebody's thing it is their way of trying to give you love when they jail you because of impatience they are trying to get you to be what to have long suffering because you are not patient 
that's why you wanted one million in one day and you jumped somebody's fence or you stopped a luxurious bus let me tell you the chaos in our society is because there is the absence of the image the character the image of christ every law when you whip your child it is because he violated something that is here when a husband beats a wife something is missing peace sister when a brother comes to say i want to marry i want to marry you do you know why you don't say yes immediately you go back and start cross-checking you don't even know this is what you are cross-checking does this guy love me it's not just love god alone does he have joy this brother is an angry brother peace i watch what he did to somebody one day long suffering this guy looks like a hustler he puts his hand in everything is he gentle no the way he approached me was bad is he good no he's greedy does he have faith he come you know and all of that and when you calculate all those things the other side of the equation creates your response and you go back and say no now you may not know that this is what you were checking when someone is advising you he's helping you society can never go into decadence when the image of christ is enforced the image of christ is the unifier whether you are from kogi state plateau state listen to me whether you are yoruba or Igbo, all those disparity in culture that is as a result of bad habits can be neutralized if the image of christ is formed in believers so when you see someone who is hausa and someone who is um Igbo or someone who is yoruba or someone who is from the south south four of them you will not see any noticeable differences why because they have allowed the genes of adam that was a part of the course that came through their earth and programmed something oh the men from this place are stupid the men from this place are irresponsible when you allow the character are we learning the dominion mandate it says man was made in the image it was not possible for adam to hate it was not possible for him to be impatient how did man fall because there was a pastor that said something satan became that preacher that's why when god came he said who told you not who showed you a voice reprogrammed you so how will men return back to this a voice will reprogram men the spirit of god is in his words as you are hearing this something is happening to you you are now seeing that this is not the issue of marry from here or from here this is not the issue of i am from bielsa i am from south south in our place this is how we do it all those our place when you talk like that let me show you whose descendant you are on earth there are two families one those who are connected to adam and everything adam came with two those who have been redeemed 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 into another family so you cannot look at me and say you come from so so place your people are drunkards i don't know who they are i've been called out of every tribe genesis please give us revelations 5 verse 9 i want you to read it god has to deliver us verse 9 1 2 no gen um revelations 5 media 5 verse 9 revelations revelations let's read it one okay verse 9 5 verse 9 thank you okay read it one to go and they sung a new song uh -huh, saying thou art worthy to take the book and open the seals thereof for thou was slain and has redeemed me unto god how by your blood out of kogi plateau state emo enugu out of the irresponsibility that comes with the men in that place out of the pride out of the selfishness out of the hatred the bitterness he has redeemed i've been called i sympathize with my people but i'm not part of that tragedy i am another tribe i've been carved out listen if you don't believe this thing you are not a christian it's not just that it's bad you are not a christian at all what else do you believe we have been called that's why in koinonia here you don't see anybody do anything which tribe i don't even want to know where you are coming from 
i know that there are two families the ones on earth and the ones in heaven were all related the blood the veil torn a family no we no man after the flesh oh your father is this i'm not saying don't be sympathetic to people in your area or whatever jesus started preaching from the jews but some of this carnality this tribalism and this these garbages we bring there is a thief in every tribe there is a fool in every tribe there is a devil in every tribe every tribe has witches and wizards there are poor people in every tribe so it's just that we, you know we make it look just because you saw more northerners looking stupid you come up with a theology that there are all more Igbo people and say every Igbo person is it's just money monger is a lie there are people who have exempted themselves called out not everybody is a money monger not every lady is a materialistic person just looking for a millionaire it's a lie not every brother is an irresponsible person not knowing where he will go some people have seen the end they have seen you know what i'm doing to you is a reprogramming this is discipleship i am unifying you now it is on the strength of this you can call somebody brother and sister that issue of brother and sister for many people is carnal it's just carnal because you were told to say it brother um, alpha brother femi and the rest but when men like kenneth e hagen rw shambach when they used those names it was out of this revelation i do not know you in the flesh but if you are in christ we are brothers you are welcome they extend the right hand of fellowship everybody say the image